Hey, what's up? This is Joe with Black Koi Water Features, and today we're going to talk about pond cleanouts. So, why is it important to do a pond cleanout? What's the process of doing a pond cleanout? So, let's get started. We usually start our pond cleanouts in here in South Carolina in February. Um, right now it is May, so we're getting kind of late. This is going to be close to one of the last ones we do. What we have here is basically it's an ecosystem pond, right? But we, we have moving water constantly, so this thing is circulating. The pumps are located down here at the bottom, and then the water recirculates and goes up. We have a bog filtration system here, and then we have another filter here. So the water is circulating, so we're creating a stream system, basically, just like Mother Nature. So just like in Mother Nature, in the springtime, you have the heavy rains coming down, and you have the spring uh, snow melts. So when you have those, those that fluctuate of the fluctuation of water coming down that removes all the sediment, all the debris, all the extra nutrients, and it flushes the system out, keeping those streams looking clean and clear. So we're going to take you through the process of how we do pond cleanouts. So let's get started. So the first step that we do is we kind of check over the pond to make sure nothing weird is going on. We have a conversation with the homeowner, making sure there's no leaks or no um, strange things happening. Um, and then go ahead and sterilize the fish tanks. So um, we have gone ahead already and done that. And then we'll start um, pumping out the water. So this water is living, so it's important to keep it, um, to put back in the pond. So we're gonna uh, drop the pumps in here and start filling up our tanks here that we have set aside. So that way when we're finished, then we can pump all that water back in. So it's really, really important, especially when you're doing them later um, in the season, that we put as much, if not all, of the water back into the system. So we're, that's what we're shooting for today. All right, so we're filling the tanks up, getting pretty full here. Water's coming out nice and clear, very important step is not to stir up see there's a the water is very clear because we have a bog filter here but it is important not to stir this up in here so we're pumping only clear water into our tanks here so we're doing a great job of that so at this phase we also put in um, all the water treatments necessary so we put a, a water clarifier in there even though the water is really clear we clarify it we put um, an aquascape protect in there, so it reduces the stress levels when transporting the fish and moving the fish around. A lot of times in the spring, people call us up and they haven't cleaned their pond in a few years. So there's a lot of ammonia, the ammonia levels are really high, so putting them in there and putting them in the pond water with the protect is really good for the fish in the transportation. Um, it reduces the stress, adds some slime coat. Um, and then we detoxify the water. So we, that will take out any harmful minerals and dechlorinate the water. In good shape here we're just getting getting to the fun part just getting all that muck and sludge rinsed out of there so this pond here is actually um, called a recreational pond so this is a pond that you can swim in so we designed this pond um, in 2018 this pond is for dogs to go in and out and small children so it's not very deep 
But the, the thing is, the water in this thing was so clear, there's just a lot of sediment. It hasn't been cleaned out in two to three years. Um, so because of the bog filtration, the bog filtration will break down all that muck and sludge and keep the water clear. So basically we're just taking off that, that layer and then we're gonna do a thorough rinse up top in the bog filtration system. So down here, this is called an intake-based skimming system. So when this thing is running, all that debris and sediment that will fall into the pond, the surface of the pond will end up in here, and then you can see the, the net can go in and remove that debris. So it makes it really, really easy to maintain. So right now, we would normally uh, rinse out the filter pads, filter pads for the biofalls, for the biofilter up top, and normally there'd be a, a skimmer box um, but this one has the intake based skimming system so we would rinse that system, those out at this point we would take the water from the pond and just flush that system out um, also before we do the um, the sediment rinse we would remove any wildlife any uh, fish frogs newts any type of uh, tadpoles that the customer wanted to save and then we put those in the tanks or in buckets and pails um, this is a recreational pond, so they chose not to have any fish or anything. Um, so nothing much to save. We saved a few little creatures, but we'll get in and trim the water plants as well. Um, sometimes, you know, water plants overtake the system, so we would um, thin them out as well. We don't like to pressure wash often here, um, especially doing a clean out this late in the season. So we want to leave as much of that little microscopic life on the rocks in the boulders as we can. We have microscopic plants, animals, little bio slime, and it's important to get about, we try to shoot for like 80-90% of that. So because that is full of life, we want to keep that life in the pond. And it also helps uh, keep the water clear and purify the water as well. this one um, we're just a few hours in and the pond is looking pretty good the rocks are all you can see all the colors coming out in the stones so it should be uh, just a couple more hours and we should have this thing wrapped up on the home stretch here. We've just got a few more, a little bit of sediment and debris to remove, mostly just muddy water though. So, um, so yeah, the next step that we got is to remove the last little bit of sediment and muddy water, and then we're gonna fill the pond back up. Um, all the water that we saved, we're putting back into the pond, which we managed, managed to save about 80% 80, 80 on this one. This was a pretty big pond. Yeah, so let me just talk about fish too. So this pond didn't have any fish. But normally what we do is when the pond level is low, around six inches deep, we capture those fish. We use a sock net to capture those so we can hold the body to support the weight. And then within that net also has water. So with the combination of holding the, the fish and having the water, we can support the weight of the body so there's no, pro no, no issues carrying them. And of course we stick them in our holding tanks behind me with aeration and the water treatments that we put in. All right, well, thank you guys for watching. Thank the homeowner. Thank the chicken. Thank the homeowner for having us on the property. Um, I am Joe with Black Koi Water Features. We service and maintain water features in Greenville, South Carolina and in Asheville, North Carolina. 
you guys have any questions, please leave a comment. If you need pond service or pond maintenance, give us a call. I appreciate it. Thank you.